Hello everyone, this is Christy and today I'm going to walk you through the basics of object alignment in Zara Designer Pro. This works in older versions as well. I'm, I'm using Designer Pro X here and I've just created three objects here, random circles on my uh, document. And I have made a page here that's a rectangular page, it doesn't really matter. So to align objects, maybe you want to put them uh, center objects. Um, let's put all these circles exactly, you can do it by hand, but it's really, you know, it's hard. Zara does have this snapping going on, so I guess that helps you. But if you want to just do it with one click, all you have to do is just uh, select all of the objects you want to align and go to the Arrange menu and select Alignment. Or you can click Shift Control L. So this is the object alignment and here you have some options. First of all, you need to decide how do you want to align the objects? Do you want to align them relative to the selection bounds, which means it's going to just uh, create an average of the area where the objects are selected and it's just going to align them in place. Or you can tell it to put the objects in the center of the page or the sides of the page or depending on the selections you use on these drop down here. So let me just start simple by centering all of the objects together. So I'm just going to leave it to selection bounds and I'm going to say align centrally and align centrally. When you click apply, all of the objects are centered together. If I want to put the objects in the middle of the page, all I can do is just select all of them select page and centrally and apply. So there you go, they are centered in my page. Now you can do it also, not just centered of course, you can do it uh, to the right or to the left. So you can select all of the objects and say, actually in the uh, right uh, vertical, I want to put them at the top. So if I click that, they're all gonna align to the top. Same thing to the bottom, it's very simple, or centrally to the left, you know, they all relative to the page or to the selection bounds. You can change these options here as well. Or if you want to use the back object as a reference, um, let's put the object here. You can use that bounds of the back object. So that's the, the largest object in my case. And it's going to say, let's do centrally. And it's going to use that as a reference to put them all in the uh, center. Now, the other thing you can do is if you want to uh, distribute objects, not just align them. So if I want to just separate these objects again, all you can do is let's say vertically, I want them to be central, but horizontally, I want them to be distributed. So you can use distribution here. So the distribution will apply uh, two ways. You can say I want to distribute the centers and that's going to keep an equal distance between the centers. Now, remember it's done it like that because I selected bounds of the back object. That's why it's put them all on that one. So I'm just gonna say selection bounds and move these out again here. I'm just gonna put them like that. So select all the objects now and I have selected distribute centers and align centrally vertically. So when I do that, the centers will be at equal distance to each other. Now, I don't like this very much, so I'm just going to try and put them equally distance, which is another option. Select them all again, and I'm going to say distribute equispaced, this one here. So now the objects have an equal distance between them, not the centers, but an equal distance between them, so they are distributed. So this is the object alignment in Zara, and you can use various... Um, options here to align your objects relative to the page or relative to each other. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and see you next time.